Hello and welcome back. So in this tutorial, we will be taking a look on how you can create your own tab inside of Revit. This is a tab you can see right here and your own buttons with the logo and and your own buttons and their icons, just like the one you're seeing right here, regular, but regular buttons and stacked buttons. So without further ado, let's get it going. <music> So first I would like to explain that how you can define this right here is called a tab. So this is an individual tab that we're going to be adding inside of Revit. This is called a panel. As you can see, the name of panels right here, spot elevations. And these are called stacked buttons and these are called regular buttons. So let's see how you can do that. First, we're launching Visual Studio. First, we're creating a new project, Revit 2020, C-sharp.net. Next, let's call it VA tutorial, tab and buttons. First, some modification. I'll skip forward. If you want to see what we're doing, you can see some of the previous videos. I explained this um, in much more detail. And we set the Revit API and the API UI copy local value to false. And then we just change the GUI to have a unique give it number for our new plugin. Okay, so right here you need to click on the app, not the command, but the app itself. So, as you can see, we get this window right here. So right here on public result on startup, we're going to be typing our code right here. So first we need to set up some strings, which are going to be the tab name, I want to set it as a string and then the panel name. So I've set two strings. One is the tab name, the tutorial tab, and one is the string panel name, which is the tutorial panel. So first, let's create the, uh, the tab itself. So a dot create ribbon tab tab name. So variable tutorial panel, VA tutorial panel, A dot create ribbon panel, tab name and panel name. Okay, now we have created the tab and the panel. What we're going to do is actually create one regular button like the one you're seeing right here and two stacked, stacked buttons. You can actually create up to three stacked buttons in a row, but for this purposes, I'm just going to be using two stacked buttons and one regular buttons. So back to Visual Studio. So variable button one, new push button data, V tutorial button one, button one, and then assembly. Okay, what we need to do is actually go to namespaces and add using system dot reflection oops now we can both go back and click assembly assembly get execution assembly dot location and right here we're going to be adding a string which is this name right here dot command So what this does is actually, so this button will launch this command right here. Now, obviously you can have multiple commands called like command one, command two, command three. What you need to do is just click command one, command two, command three. So this is gonna be a simple command, just printing a Windows form called with the text, hello world. And obviously all of the other commands that we have created, you can create new commands and add them and add them to your code. So the tooltip and the long description are these right here. So if I hover my mouse on this button you see right here, first you will have the tooltip and then you will have the long description. 
Now you can add them or you can skip this if you don't want. It's up to you. Okay, now that we have created our push button data, so the data re regarding the button itself, we need to add this button to this panel right here. Okay, so now we type in variable, let's call it btn1. Equals. First, we type in the panel name, which is va tutorial panel dot add item, and here we type in button. So variable btn1, the name of the panel that we have created, dot add item, button one, and then as push button. Now we have successfully created the button. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, this is the tab that we have created, and this is button one, VA tutorial panel. Now we're going to be adding uh, two stacked buttons and leaving this one right here, and then we're going to be adding the icons. Okay, so we have successfully created a button. Now let's create these two buttons right here, uh, called stacked buttons or stacked items. So let's see how we can do this. So first I'm going to be copying this so I don't have to retype it. Stacked. Now we need to change this. Button 2, button 2, button 2, and change this as well. Okay. And now button 3, button 3. Okay, looks great. Now we have created the push button data, let's say. Now we need to add these buttons to the uh, panel itself as stacked items, more stacked buttons. So I'm just going to be copying this. This is the name of our ribbon, our panel, sorry. So add stacked items, button two, button three. Now let's see how it looks. Looks amazing. Build, rebuild solution. We have Revit all fired up and ready. Let's see. Oh, it looks awesome. We have created button one and two buttons right here. Now let's see how you can actually add icons and what type and size of icons you need to add to successfully compile, let's say, your program. Okay, now for the icons, for the regular buttons, the regular size buttons, we're gonna be using icons dimension 100 pixels by 100 pixels with a 300 pixel by pixel in inch. Uh, resolu uh, resolution. Okay, so you can obviously do whatever you want in this. So I'm just going to be creating a new layer. Let's draw one. Okay, it's not the previous one, but it does the trick just fine. As for the stack buttons, the one you're seeing right here, the icon is a bit smaller. So let's jump right here. So as you can see, it's now 50 by 50 pixels with the same resolution, 300 pixels in the inch. Okay, so I'm just going to be writing 200. Okay, you need to save them as PNG because it's a transparent layer. So save as. Okay, so now we have three icons created. Now we need to jump back in in Visual Studio. Let's see. Okay, now let's add our images into Visual Studio. So first, I'm going to be creating a new folder. So go here, add new folder. Let's call it re or sys okay awesome let's go here add existing item and select our three images that we've created in photoshop so we've added these we need to select all three of them and in the build action we need to actually choose resource okay now we're just going to be adding some references right here so right click add reference go to assemblies and let's click them together so first we need presentation core we need system drawing and system windows presentation and windows base now we're going to be adding some references here as well using so system windows media imaging system drawing imaging system windows media Okay, we're going to be going here and creating the bit images. 
So bitmap image. Let's call it button one image equals new bitmap image and new URI and open brackets. Okay, now you need to actually copy this text. Okay, so pack application VA tutorial tab and buttons component resource button one. So if you named your file something else, you need to copy this name from here and paste it right here. Okay, oops. Now let's go to the second image. I'm just going to be copying this. I'm going to be leaving this in the description box so you can copy it and use it in your project because obviously most likely you didn't name your project via tutorial tapping buttons. Looks amazing. Now let's try it on this button right here. So I'm just going to be typing. So button one, large image, BT1 image this is the one right here. Now let's see if it works. I'm just going to be build, rebuild solution. Succeeded. Start. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. So the problem is because when we named this file like this, uh, the way that Visual Studio does not understand spaces in the name, so it auto uh, it used underscore in every place that we use the space bar. So what we need to do is actually close this file right here and rename this to something without any space bars. So I'll just save this and close it. So I've copied this to my desktop because you never know, maybe you mess up. So it's always good to leave a backup. So first of all, we're going to be opening, uh, renaming this. Let's rename it VA buttons. So without any space bars. So VA buttons. And I'm going to be copying this to my clipboard. So hit the enter key. This is a Visual Studio solution. We need to rename it as well. So a buttons we open this go right here and also rename this as well so rename the a buttons okay now we go to our app and right here select this and go to rename for components so it's going to be renaming it in every place in ev everywhere apply Okay, looks amazing. Now we need to rename it right here. VA buttons, VA buttons, VA buttons. Go to the command. Let's see. Okay, it's already changed. We need to go to the add in file. Let's select this, change it. Select this and change it. Assembly as well. Oops. Well, description doesn't really matter. Oh, oh, we need to change this to VA buttons as well. And this VA buttons as well. Yeah, looks great. Now let's go to properties and rename this to VA buttons as well. Assembly information, title. Yeah, looks great. Now we close Visual Studio again. Okay, save. And now we need to actually rename this. So we're going to be typing here and rename it. Okay, now reopen Visual Studio for solution. Okay, don't worry, it's pretty normal. Now we're going to be here called unloaded. So we're going to hit the right mouse key, remove. Yes, go here, add existing project. VA buttons, VA buttons, and click this right here. And now all of your files are reloaded. Now we just need to delete the Revit DLL file. So app data, roaming, Autodesk, Revit, add-ins 2019. So I'm just going to be deleting this, Swift tutorial, 
tab and buttons so everything is going to be deleted now let's see let's click on the start button okay as you can see this is uh, the buttons that we have created this is a large image okay i'm just gonna be stopping this okay let's add the two images now i've added the button one large image because it's a regular button now regarding these smaller ones we're going to be typing button two dot image equals button two equals button two image and Now I've just changed these to VA buttons as well. Okay, let's see, looks great. Now we're gonna be starting Revit and hopefully everything is gonna be working just fine. As you can see, everything is working just fine. We have our three buttons and our images loaded or icons loaded correctly. Now, if you like this video, you can hit the like and subscribe button down there and see you in the next one.